Hello everyone, welcome back for another episode of the Family Chit Chat. I'm Tom Pounder, and if you were to see me on the street just randomly and you didn't know who I was, you might look at me and think, wow, that guy looks a little scrummy. He needs to shave, he needs to take care of his hair better. He probably doesn't take care of himself very much. And you might be right today, but I think a lot of times we look at people and we look at their physical appearance, we look on the outside of what they look like on the outside, and we make a judgment about who they are. Is that right? Is that wrong? Hey, what do you think? Hey, in today's story, we're going to look at what God really looks at and why that really matters and then how that can impact us in our lives uh, by looking at this story. So I want you to read the story about David and his brothers, and I want you to see how God views him and how God views us. And then when you're done, press play and we'll continue from there. Okay, so God is on the search for a new king because Saul, the existing king, disobeyed God and God wants to replace him. So he sent Samuel to look for a new king and he sent him to David's house. In David's house, he was the youngest of all the brothers and the other brothers were, were much better looking on the outside than David was. And David was not described very well. But what did God say to Samuel about how he views people? He looks at the heart. He looks at your heart. And what are you on the inside, not so much on the outside? And it's a real challenge to me because oftentimes, like I talked about earlier in the video, a lot of times I look at people's outside appearance and make a judgment about them before I actually get to know who they really are and who they really are on the inside. And today's bottom line is God wants me to see what really matters. What really matters is what's on the inside. What really matters is their heart and how that reflects on who they are. It's not the physical appearance. So I want to encourage you today to get to know somebody and get to know their heart and get to know who they really are because God made everyone uniquely and God made everyone awesome. And so it is your job then, even if they got messy hair or they haven't shaved or, or they've got like stuff on their head to figure out what is it that they really are. Who are they and how has God created them? So get to know who they really are because God wants you to get to know who they really are and what the inside of them really looks like. And that can make a really powerful impact on their lives by when we take away the outward appearance and look at what they look like on the inside and encourage them in that way. So I want to encourage you to do that. I also want to encourage you to look at the memory verse we've been looking at for the past few weeks. It's this. It's Psalm 139, 14. How you made me is amazing and wonderful. I praise you for that. What you have done is wonderful. I know that very well. God has made us amazing and wonderful, and God has made other people amazing and wonderful. And so it's our job to look at their heart and not just their outward appearance. So I want to encourage you all to do that today. All right, everyone. Well, as you have stories about how you're looking at someone's inside rather than their outside, definitely put it in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear your stories today. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you have a great rest of the week, and I can't wait to see you next time with a whole new story. Have a great week, everyone.